Yes, hi, how are you? I'm fine. How are you, sir? Good, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Uh, I think we had a session before also, right? Yes, sir. I missed that session. I yeah. think. Maybe, I don't remember exactly, but we had a session before that. Yes, yes. Five minutes. Uh, we talked after the time. Yes, yes, I, yes. I didn't come the time, so that's why. No problem. How are your sessions going on? It was good. It's going good? I'm feeling good on this, doing all of the sessions. Mm. Actually, you know, I am getting a very positive vibe and I can feel good that uh, I am thinking that uh, this like classes from the people I am getting, they are very much like intelligent in, in every manner. They have lots of wisdom, like they boost a lot in your, in your confidence, knowledge and many things. So I feel very good. Mm. That's the best part, actually. You get to yeah. learn something new every day, uh, whether it's English, whether it's about motivation. Sometimes people also tell you their own stories also, how they learned this yes. language, yes. right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, shall we start today's session? Yes, sir. Okay. In the last session, do you remember what all things we discussed? Yes. Actually, you told me that uh, oh, you watched Clever Fish. Story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Story yes. is. Have yes. you prepared that? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's start with the story then. Okay. Okay. You can uh, tell me the story whenever you're ready. Okay. So the story was that one day, mm -hmm. uh, one fisherman was mm -hmm. uh, fishing as usual. Uh, he <coughs> did. So he went in a uh, in the river, and mm -hmm. he just uh, uh, like uh, threw the, his net into the water for the fish to, to get into the net, and just mm -hmm. sat and waiting for the uh, fish. And after some time, and he feels a resilient sound mm -hmm. into in the net. So he thought that he got must a lot of fish. So he just took out the net, out of the out of the water, and he saw that um, there was a one um, tiny fish, one tiny little fish. So he just hold, grabbed and hold the net. Um, uh, suddenly, fish was talking. Mm. I started talking to the like uh, fisherman and she uh, like said that uh, fisherman please listen to me but uh, the fisherman didn't didn't listen to her, her and uh, uh, but again she told him that uh, um, that uh, uh, please listen to me which is your help so um, he listened to her and she said that please leave me. If you leave me, I will tell my old friend. And mm -hmm. uh, when you will come next time, and uh, you will get a lot of fish. Mm -hmm. I will tell my old friend uh, and I will bring them to Bank of River, near of Bank of River. So Fisherman thought to him that, uh, wow, this is not a bad deal at all. So why mm -hmm. not uh, let go the tiny little fish? So he just uh, let go the fish into the water and he went for the come next day. And mm. the tiny little fish was very happy and just swam and uh, happily run away from there, from that side and, and never to come back. And But the fisherman thought that she will come next day and say, I see him expecting to calm her. He came and he just thinking that she, I will get lots of fish today so that I can sell in market and get off lots of money. But mm. um, uh, fish will not come. So this story, uh, like uh, telling us or moral of the story is that 
in any challenging situation we need to be a uh, so much clever mm -hmm. and very uh, like uh, in clever and also very fearless as mm -hmm. you are saying a uh, uh, point of view the fisherman uh, point of view then uh, you can say that the can't be so much greedy whatever you are getting need to be, be like uh, happy sometimes you have to be satisfied with uh, whatever you are getting and if you are saying about the fish uh, point of view then if anybody is in a, any challenging or any uh, difficult situation need to be so much clever and the active to save uh, our life that's mm. that's true okay yeah that was the story and what do you learn from the fisherman that you should not be greedy uh, like greedy yes definitely okay what's the topic of today's session have you <clears throat> checked that i think uh, i think age no 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 not age something that i checked that but i didn't remember because you know i think i don't have that uh, like uh, any content about that topic i don't get so i don't watch no problem no problem let me check it is about risk yes yes risk Mm. So, okay, you understand what risk is. So, tell me, what's the riskiest activity you've ever done in your life? That's why I didn't find any risk, so I I didn't go into a lot. But I can say that I I didn't take any risks yet. But I am fearless. But I'm mm. whatever I do mm -hmm. with planning. I do like I'm so much like I don't do like uh, let's do today. what happened mm -hmm. we will see no i am not that kind of person if you are saying about the serious thing i will so mm -hmm. much the uh, planning then i will do i will i didn't take any decision just mm -hmm. uh, for the enjoy in any uh, like serious situation or any important decision but if you are saying the uh, just enjoying thing then i didn't uh, in little thing i don't see the what will happen i do enjoy if i do any mistake but i enjoy mm okay it's nice all right let me share some topics with you now and some general topics before that i'll share some words with you which you which you can practice for your next session okay the words which you can okay. use in your day to day life as well okay yes so can you take a screenshot of these words one hmm yes okay now your task is pretty simple you will make five sentences okay you will pick five words from this list and then you will make okay. five sentences in the process oh now not right now for the next session oh. it's okay. your kind of homework you can say i hope you took the screenshot okay. right yes sir okay nice let me share some topics with you now because we have discussed risk already and here are some topics which we can discuss now uh just go through this list and uh, pick one topic it's so short can you see the picture your friend i can say that your friend okay so tell me how many best friends do you have I have two or three friends in my mm -hmm. life, and you can say the best friend. I know, like I knew them since my graduation, mm. and I, I can say, I can say that I trust her. Like mm. I can ninety percent, I can trust. I can walk uh, with her without money, without anything, but I can. like i don't have the fear you know mm -hmm. after my family if i trust then i trust them and she always with me and she understand me so that's why i can say that my friends are less but uh, uh, very good friend like i believe in the quantity not a quality so that's why 
i choose the like this and also i was choosing person so i choose the very less but i need a uh, you can say the really a good uh, quality about uh, saying about the friend or anything mm that is true okay and uh, what all qualities should a good friend have tell me i think uh, in friend i think uh, i look for the very that i trust most and loyalty loyalty is there if loyalty. it's not important that the yes like hmm. i can trust if i go with you it means i can trust that you never betray me any hmm. time any situation i can trust you blind blindly because hmm. with friend we walk around alone you know and we share lots of thing so in friend i think must be a good like they protect you whatever you are going to in your situation hmm. like and they what they give you a good suggestion and they guide you like in good way and also if you are with the with the them like in outside of the house so they also protect you so i uh, suggest i also am like this and i also look for that kind of friend i am not that let student enjoy and after meeting i will uh, what say were in chugli what say uh, and say something wrong about you and i don't find good so i don't like this kind of friend i feel that uh, a good quantity and i trust and i also i want return in trust and loyalty i really transparency is uh, need to be there mm definitely okay now let's talk about this topic what you use the internet for you have to tell me about your internet usage you says okay i use internet for the you can say the calling as i be using right now and mm -hmm. uh, also i use for the only i nowadays i use most in like on youtube Hmm. Okay, because uh, after before uh, like uh, one year or two year back, I also use Facebook, Instagram, but not much. But hmm. only I see the page and I will like read nothing the chat. But nowadays only I use the YouTube because of my learning thing. Also, I I think that very useful YouTube. You know, whatever hmm. I want to learn, I whatever I want to know. so i can get from the youtube so nowadays youtube is very important and mm. internet is also if you are saying that all over the internet is very important because if you are going for the online shopping if you are uh, doing anything so nowadays everything is is uh, digital so internet is internet is very important if you are going out and you do, you have don't have uh, money but you have a like an internet then you can pay through phone pay or uh, whatever but without internet nowadays i think people can't walk mm definitely so now tell me what was the first time you used internet in your life do you remember that i think i was i was in graduation that time you know no 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 i can say that in my school days also but the use is a different that time you know i was a eighth standard i think and that time in my home ma we bought a computer so that time also uh, we had our internet connection so i used to open computer and use but that time i don't use really for the you can say the, the important thing i do, i use for the only listening song and and uh, psycho police of my favorite actor so i search on the youtube or whatever the like images so this kind of thing that time i did but mm. eight standard this 
from there in my house is a computer and internet is there but you can say the in graduation i got my personal mobile where i get all the net internet or each and everything but if i use i have to you like i had to use then i have to i had to go the cyber cafe for my like i also prepared for the competitive exam so my brother filled in the form then i, I came like uh, come the i admit card then i i have to like i had to download it so i i used to go in a cyber cafe and then i upload the inter, like admit card and also in computer computer laptop is always in there in my house since childhood you can say that but i don't use uh, like proper use of uh, internet okay that's it nice okay very nice so see i can see a lot of improvement in your sentence structure and which is a good thing okay okay so now I, what i want you to do is i want you to make five sentences like focus on the vocabulary part also okay okay and uh, whenever you book a next session with me just yes. come up with five words you have taken the screenshot right yes yes have you yes yes sir lily all right yes i have taken uh okay so and you know what uh, if you want to book a session with me you can book it around 10 am so 10 am is the time where i open my slots for the next day okay 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 yeah i think you you must be checking my slots and it would show um yes sir observed i didn't get the slot because all the slot is booked so that's why hmm but don't worry next okay. time next time you'll be able to get okay so be regular with your practice okay and uh, do also be regular with your practice that is one thing and uh, there's a youtube channel which you can check english network it has speeches from different people okay okay that youtube channel will also network. english network yeah that youtube channel will okay, also okay. help you a lot okay. okay so you can refer to that youtube channel as well okay 